Hello there again. This is a video about Gmail Creator example. Now let's go to learn it together. First, we click the plus sign to create a task and the task name and hit the OK button. And then we fill in the blanks of account information. Select each item. We can see instructions here. So we can finish them according to those. There are two formats for us to fill in the blanks. One is lists such as username table. The other is random use of data. We can edit username manually like this. You can also bind data. There are four ways. The first one is to import from file. Choose file we need. We choose txt file, but there is also csv file. A row of data in files corresponds to a piece of data in lists. If you want to bind proxy or user agent, find proxy table and bind proxy. You can edit global proxy and user agent manually. You can also import the CSV file the system already had. Save it. If you want to use more random data, you can select Use Random, which allows you to use original string data, random after or before. There are three groups of random, including letter, number, special letter, and custom in each group. If you choose custom, you can edit it manually with each piece of data separated by a comma. You can also import data from the file. Also the same, a row of data in files corresponds to a piece of data in lists, data still separated by a comma. If you want to add some number before or after your username, you can choose a range of numbers. Our system will provide some random number combinations for you. After that, you can choose numbers which allow how many times a number will appear. Now we finish group 2 number and group 3 letter. And then enter the amount of account and mark if you allow same data. If you choose random, the system will provide you with many different data. Now we complete the settings. For user name table, you can copy from the file and paste here. You can delete lines you don't want and can even clear the whole table. In password part, we can use randoms. We can input 1 or 0. 1 means random password. Zero means you need to fill in a table by yourself. I choose one here and get random password. For month, day, and year, you can ignore these items as you can get random data. If you want to edit, you can do following the instructions. Column 1 for January. Column 2 for February. Column C for December. Day is the date of the month. Year I take 1993 and 1994 for example. Sex. E for female, F for male, G for other, 
H for not telling. Email table. Input our secondary email address used for account recovery. Random location. You will find it on the registration page. Copy that and paste here. If I skip this, I will get random location. First name and the last name. I import them from the file. I need to clear the proxy table because these are for our own company. You can bind user agent data if you need to. Here we need to input API of the phone number because it needs phone verifications. So input it here. Here it needs POP protocol used to receive emails in case you want to register other letters such as Instagram. One for setting, zero for not, default either. Manual input phone code. If you need manual verification, you must input one and also your phone number. Enter code time. This is a time limit and you need to enter your code before that. If your phone number is available, you will get informed here when you are entering the code. Just input that code and then this system will automatically register accounts for you. But here I choose to enter API. After finishing all the information, click save so the system will create accounts for you. You can view all the accounts information here. You can directly click and modify those information if you want and then select the whole line to click save. Refresh the page by clicking this, you will see the modified data. You can also delete accounts that you don't want by selecting the whole line of data. You will see whether accounts creation succeeded or not. If everything is going well, we try to run it. When it's running, the accounts will be marked with different colors. This is the automatic verification process. We are waiting for the verification code. System will automatically continue this process if you leave it alone. Now registration process finished. You can see all the information here. You can also export data you need, such as username, password, and phone. Here, you can change the order to what you prefer and export to a file you want. Now have a look at the account information I exported just now. Well, that's all about Gmail account creation.